Hello new friends, I hope that this video finds you well. This video is gonna be different in that it's gonna be audio only because for my birthday I was gifted a fancy microphone and so I've been playing with it a little bit I thought we could try out the different settings. If you have a setting you like, let me know if you have any tips. So I'll play with a few sounds too and I'll try to remember to describe what they are right now. You might hear me, I've got the box so I can read to you what this microphone is. say that this is setting one, so I'll try whisper and soft spoken in each of the settings, even though I really only ever do soft spoken videos because they're my favorite. My guess is we'll hear a little bit of the popping um, with this video. Oh, sorry, that was tape. Sticky fingers. Um, oops, now I'm dropping the box. Good thing this isn't a video. Um, yeah, I think that we'll probably hear some popping, which I like. I especially like when I'm at a speech or when someone's reading something and they pop their D's or their P's. I find it very relaxing. This is the sound just a little farther away, so we can try the different ways and see what we like and what we think. Okay, so the present I got, such a thoughtful gift. Um, it was really fun because when he gave it to me, he was saying how um, he thought and thought about what was something I liked or would be interested in. And there's only a couple of people who know I make these videos, so. It was just really nice. My gosh, this is a slippery box. Um, it has that kind of satin finish on it um, that makes it really smooth, but it's hard to grip. Okay, so what I got is a, s a blue snowball USB microphone with crystal clear sound. It's in gloss black or noir laque. If you Want the French version, which they decided to put on here. Um, the side of it says it has cool sound, un son cool, with dual capsule mic for superior sound, rugged adjustable mic stand, which will be good for when I'm, uh, you know, out in the field or, I don't know, if I have to live outside for a little bit. Um, USB cable and three mic recording patterns. So, hold on. Oops. It occurs to me I should have just set this microphone down. I'm holding it with my right hand. That's probably part of the problem. This is me trying it a little further away, so I think the sound in this video might go up and down, but we'll see. Oops. Okay. So it said this microphone is Discord certified, and I'm going to reveal my ignorance here. I'm pretty sure Discord is that social media platform where people play video games and other people watch them, so probably good to have good sound for that. Um, I already read some of it. Oh, but it does say it's high quality sound for podcasts, YouTube, productions, and more crystal clear audio for game streaming and conference calls. Those seem to me to be two very different things, but alright. Um, a dual mic capsule design delivers rich, natural sound. So that makes me wonder if there's any kind of binaural option. I don't know. I always sound like I'm coming from the back. And now it sounds like the front. 
mind if this is the right mind and the left. We'll have to learn how we as we go along. Um, let's see. Three microphone recording patterns for versatile recording. So as I said, this is setting one. Um, works with your favorite software on Mac or PC and includes a fully adjustable metal stand, user guide, and USB cable. And it occurs to me I maybe should have read that guide before I started this. Oh well, we're going to experiment together. Um, so let's see. So cardioid, I think this word is, picks up sound from the front, which is ideal for podcasting, game streaming, or recording vocals and instruments. Then there's a negative 10 decibel PAD, maybe it's pronounced PAD, it looks like an acronym. Reduces mic sensitivity so loud instruments or vocalists come in crystal clear and distortion free. And then Omni picks up sound all around the mic, perfect for conference calls or recording a group of musicians. Okay, so I think we're in cardioid right now. And then in a minute, I'm going to put us to this negative 10 dB. Um, so it'll say vocalists come in crystal clear. We'll see, but I, I guess maybe it'll be a little softer. And then we'll try the omnidirectional with some other sounds. So real quick, I'm just scratching on the box. Gently to see how that sounds. And then for people who like that sticky finger sound, I'll play with the tape here for a minute. So you can hear me adjusting everything, maybe. I guess I don't know what this is picking up. Wow, this is really sticky. this is picking up the sound or else it's gonna sound like a big lull in the video. Okay, I'm gonna switch now to two. I hope that click wasn't really too loud. Okay, so we're in setting two now, which is supposed to be, according to this, um, reduced mic sensitivity the vocal should come in loud and clear. So, I'm hoping for my next video to do one on the globe that I have on my bookshelf, um, which was actually recommended by someone and is such a good idea. That globe has great sounds and I think globes are really interesting. Um, so hopefully you guys will too. Um, I've never made a video. Maybe I've, maybe I have. Anyway, I usually just record with my phone, so the video and the audio are all in one. So I'm gonna have to learn how to do it with this, um, and then over overlay with the video. So that's good. I'll learn some new skills. I think I tried that maybe back when I first started and I, I don't remember. It definitely is a little more difficult um, and the people who make just fantastic ASMR videos with their special effects and their backgrounds, I think that um, they must do amazing things with that and I've watched some videos on how these people make and edit their videos, and they're really impressive. But I still always get the most trigger from the most simple kind of videos. I like the feeling that someone's just talking to me. Um, yeah. Anyway, this is how whispering sounds in setting two. And this is whispering.
and then this is soft spoken from the ball, but a close up of both of them. And this is a close up. Close up. It sounded funny. Soft spoken from the front. And then this is a more regular soft spoken. I did play with this a little bit before. And I was surprised how little ambient noise it picked up when I was just experimenting with it. Wow. There was so much noise. Like, there were people outside, there were people banging doors downstairs, and I was like, this is going to be the least relaxing video. And I mean, it wasn't a video, I was just doing an audio recording to test. Um, and I was amazed how little background noise I heard, so I hope that that will be true. One of the things I was worried about was that um, it, this microphone would be so great, except that I'd have to make videos at like 2am because it was the only time it'd be quiet enough. Um, so hopefully that won't be the case. Anyway, in this setting, I'm going to try to just brush the mic real quick. I'm really actually scratching it to try to run it over. From the front. Now I'm going to pick up a little box that came in the big box I was just reading. See if might be able to hear it, I hope, like some cardboard sounds. I'm running my hand over the ribbed cardboard, just putting my nails over it. This is the ribbed cardboard with a, usually the glossy layer that they put over the top. And then these are the directions packets that I didn't read. It's so hard to believe we're already more than halfway through, right? Easter is just... Sorry, I think that was a little loud. Easter is just a couple weeks away. I just went to Stations of the Cross for the first time um, this week. I've been on travel. I haven't, um, haven't been on a schedule that allowed me to go. But I um, have gotten to go to a lot of different churches. So it's interesting to see how the different ones have their own styles, even though we're all celebrating the same Mass same liturgy. It's really fun. Okay. I'm gonna pop over to setting three now. I'm so curious what all this is going to sound like. Okay, so setting three is supposed to be omnidirectional. So, I don't know if you can hear that over to the side. So this is the whisper up close from the front with setting three. And this is the whisper to the left from the front with the setting three. And this is the whisper to the right from the front. Setting three. 
the soft spoken uh, like the and then back to close up the soft spoken from the front soft spoken front left soft spoken front right and then just regular soft spoken here in the front be interesting to see how this works. So now since this is the omnidirectional one, I saved a couple of the props that I brought um, just to try in this setting. So let me reach down. So this is going to be a kind of high pitched ceramic glass sound. I love this sound. I had no intention of doing this in this video. And then I happened to hear it right before I came up to record. And I thought it was perfect. Glass sounds, this isn't actually glass, but close, um, are some of my favorite. I, I like high pitched better than deep. It triggers my SMR a lot more. If you have any ideas what you think this is, uh, leave it in the comments. I think trying to guess sounds is really hard whenever they do it on radio stations. I never guess what it is. But it's funny, I like to hear people's guesses because they all make sense and you're all, oh yeah, I could see why someone thinks that's what it is. Or some will guess something and I'll think, oh yeah, that has to be it, and it won't be. This is really relaxing for me. Right now. I should probably stop and move on, but I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. One more. Alright. Now the next thing that I is actually some bubbly water. And I don't mean the brand bubbly. It's actually just a generic brand called Signature Select. But um, not flat water. I always call it like seltzer water or um, mineral water. I just call it bubbly water. So that's the straw. Let me hold on. I'm gonna take a drink and then I think it'll make a fizzy sound. So you're gonna hear a drinky noise here. <clears throat> Not very fizzy. I like the fizzy sound though. We'll see if it picks that up. The flavor I have here is tangerine. I gotta say, it's not my favorite. It doesn't have a whole lot of taste. So my favorite flavors are pineapple and peach. But sometimes you're kind of at the mercy of what flavors are in stock when you go to the store. And that's what they had. Um. One of the flavors that I see a lot is orange and cranberry, and I never bought it because 
I was like, I don't, I won't light that flavor. I don't want that. And then I went to someone's house and that's what they had. So I had some. And for a while it became my favorite flavor. So it taught me that just because I think I might not like a flavor doesn't mean I shouldn't try it. One of the nice things about trying with seltzer water, flavored seltzer water, is that all the flavors are pretty mild. I mean, to really dislike one would be hard, I think, because the flavors aren't very intense. Alright, see this has been going for more than 20 minutes now and I have other video ideas I want to try my new fancy equipment. So, thank you all so much for listening. I'm excited to try some new things and see how this new equipment will work. I'm trying to talk again from the back now. I wonder how omnidirectional Omni is. I hope you're all having a blessed and holy Lent. I, um, I need to go for my Lenten confession, so better get that on the calendar. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you have a preference on one of these settings, please leave it down below in the comments. Or if you have one of these microphones, or have any tips or tricks, I'd, I'd love to learn and know more about it. Anyway, I look forward to talking to you all more soon and um, hopefully getting in a couple of these ideas that are kind of Lent based um, before the season is over and we're all rejoicing together in Easter. So I hope you're well. I hope you're feeling happy. I hope that just listening to this maybe helped you feel relaxed or sleepy. And I'll talk to you again soon.